The field of artificial intelligence has made tremendous progress in recent years, so it seems only a matter of time before mankind develops robots that have more in common with their own species than with conventional machines. But is it possible that the artificially created systems will one day even develop some kind of consciousness? Well, in this regard, former Google software engineer Blake Lemoyne stated that the language AI Lambda is sentient and thus practically alive. From lifelike androids to tech behemoths to artificial doctors, here are some of the incredible robots and programs that prove the future is here. But what do you think? Should we really integrate artificial intelligence into our everyday lives? Or do we end up running the risk of losing control of the machines? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to hit the like button and subscribe while you're there. Also, stick around until the end to learn of the harrowing story of Blake Lemoyne and why he believes AI has developed a mind of its own. AI Yes The robot lady, Ida, has a very special gift. With the help of computer graphics algorithms and artificial intelligence, the humanoid art system is able to create drawings, paintings, and sculptures. Named after mathematician Ada Lovelace, who is credited with being the first woman to create computer programs, the robot grew out of a collaborative effort between gallery owner Aiden Meller and robotics company Engineered Arts. The robo-artist, conceived in 2019, achieved international fame when she demonstrated how she creates a pencil drawing of a human being with the help of her technical arm and the cameras in her eye. A few months ago, Ida even found herself on the British Parliamentary Committee on Communications and Digital. Shortly before, the robotic lady had painted the Queen on the occasion of her 70th Jubilee to the throne. Having noticed this, the politicians decided to invite Ida and her developers to their place. As a part of a short question and answer session, the humanoid art system then explained what the technical background of its programmed talent is all about. The parliamentary committee then also learned about the poetry of the robot. For its poems, it analyzes large amounts of data from texts in order to learn content as well as lyrical structures and patterns. Before Ida suddenly failed and had to be restarted, she offered the following telling words. Technology can be both an opportunity and a threat. Giant Robot If you found yourself in the Japanese city of Kusatu a few months ago, you might have guessed that the Transformers had broken out. In fact, a gigantic, almost 10-meter high robot towered over its surroundings. What at first glance might have reminded you of an oversized battle mech was actually nothing more than a double XL railway employee. Developed by the Japanese railway company West Japan Rail, the Nippon Signal Company, and the Human Machinery Company, the technical colossus can be controlled via VR and used to clean and maintain railway infrastructure. However, this model is still a prototype, but the final version should be on the market as early as next year. Ameka You have already seen with your own eyes how innovative the creations of the British company Engineered Arts are in the form of Ida. No less impressive was the human robot that the group presented at the 2022 Consumer Electronics Show. Ameka actually looks almost human with its lifelike eyes, fine facial expressions, and understandable gestures. While the interaction between humans and robots in the past often seemed wooden and contrived, Ameka brings a natural touch to the conversations. The robot looks the other person in the eye and gives you the feeling of actually being noticed. This is made possible by the cameras in the eyes. What sets a mecha apart from comparable machines is the speed of response. In this way, the robot answers the questions put to it directly and with an authentic choice of words. The fact that a mecha is very open about its technical limitations also contributes to the realism. At the fair mentioned, some visitors tried to give the robot a fist bump, after which it declared that it was unable to do so. From E2 you have a thriving imagination, 
but artistically two left hands? No problem, because this is exactly where the impressive text-to-image generator DAL-E2 comes into play. As the name already suggests, you only have to feed the application developed by OpenAI with the desired motif and wait to see which image the AI system then spits out. In order for the result to match the idea in your head, it is of course advisable to type in as much detail as possible about what you would like to have generated and in which style. Previous works, created with the help of DALL-E 2, have illustrious titles such as An Otter on a Laptop in the Style of the Italian Renaissance or Jaguar reading a newspaper on a deck chair. A look at the image of a swimming woman, however, proves what a breathtaking feat the application is actually capable of. The motif is simply photorealistic. What kind of image would you have made of DALL-E 2? Feel free to let us know in the comments below. Da Vinci Operations System Sci-fi fans among you will be familiar with the scene from Star Wars Episode 3, where a badly injured Anakin is transformed into Darth Vader by some operation droids. A look at the Da Vinci operating system from the Californian company Intuitive Surgical shows that such scenes could actually soon be part of everyday hospital life only without the characteristic breathing mask and lightsabers, of course. In detail, the operating unit consists of a control console that is operated by the surgeon and an operating robot that is located directly next to the patient. Of the operating area via the console, he can control the arms of his technical assistant at the same time. The movement commands entered are implemented in real time and with millimeter precision, particularly practical. If the surgeon's hands tremble, these interruptions are automatically compensated for. However, the surgical robot is not able to perform independent movements. Rex Sometimes we forget how good we actually are. For many, a simple activity, such as walking or just getting up, embodies an unattainable dream for people in wheelchairs. However, inventions like Rex are intended to help ensure that this situation will soon be a thing of the past. In detail, we are dealing here with a robotic exoskeleton that gets wheelchair users back on their feet. Usually, the focus of robotic exoskeletons is more in the military. However, when Robert Iving was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, he decided to conceive Rex with his childhood friend Richard Little. Consisting of robust yet lightweight materials, Rex is designed to comfortably support and hold its user with every movement. After being strapped into the frame, the person can control the construction with a joystick placed at waist height. Agrobot the agricultural sector is already benefiting from the technological achievements of our time. This enables machine farmers to handle a wide range of complex tasks. Let's take a look at the Agrobot from Avrora Robotics. The driverless control system covers a truly wide range, from working the soil to sowing and transport. There is practically no agricultural requirement that Agrobot cannot meet. Basically, the system orients itself with the help of scanners and sensors, but the majority of the work is done by the AI, which is located in a computer in the rear of the tractor. Spot Mini It's no coincidence that the Spot Mini robot from Boston Dynamics has certain similarities to a dog. According to this, this invention should be used exactly where the furry four-legged friends reach their limits for example, when it comes to opening doors. In addition, Spot Mini is able to pick up and transport objects with its articulated arm and navigate in complex environments. Equipped with cameras, lasers, and ultrasonic sensors, the robot dog could be used in construction work, machine maintenance, and even search and rescue operations in the future. Solving the Voynich Manuscript while the Voynich Manuscript has always been the subject of many questions, there are some things we do know about the mysterious document. While the script used has always been an unsolved mystery, there is no question that the text was handwritten. An examination of the material showed that the parchment most likely dates from 1404 to 1438, a chronological classification that also coincides with the style of the illustrations. What brings us to an essential point is, since the experts have not yet been able to decode the cryptic characters, the illustrations are the only thing that could give us an insight into the true content. As a result, the individual sections seem to deal with subjects such as herbalism, astronomy, anatomy, and medicine. 
The name of the manuscript, which is still used today, goes back to the Polish collector Wilfred Michael Wojnicz. However, it is completely unknown who created the work. In view of the diffuse facts, some researchers even believe that the document has no meaningful content at all. However, countless other, sometimes self-proclaimed experts, tried to bring the hidden knowledge back to light. Although the world's best cryptographers set out to crack the code of the Voynich's manuscript, no expert recorded a major breakthrough that clearly stood up to scientific scrutiny. The document was recently targeted by cutting-edge technology, more specifically by the Artificial Intelligence Laboratory at the University of Alberta. The employees of the renowned Canadian Research Institute were initially not concerned with revealing the content of the work, but rather with finding out which language we are actually dealing with here. In the run-up to the investigations, the scientists assumed that the manuscript was written in Arabic. To test this thesis, the experts used an AI capable of identifying 380 different languages with an accuracy of 97%. However, after the data was fed into the program, the experts received surprising news. The text of the document was written in Hebrew. After analyzing the first line of text in the manuscript against this background, they found that 80% of the words they uncovered actually appear in the Hebrew vocabulary. However, since none of the researchers knew the ancient language, colleague and computer scientists, Moshe Kopel, whose native language is Hebrew, was consulted. So it happened that the other scientists were glued to Kopel's every word, but he delivered a rather sobering message. The individual words do not form a coherent sentence. After the team corrected some weird spelling mistakes and ran the line through a translator, the sentence in question can be translated as follows. She gave recommendations to the priest, the householder, and me and the people. The examination of another passage also brought some linguistic bright spots to light. The 72-word section contained terms such as light, fire, air, and pawn. Do these groundbreaking findings mean that we have finally solved the mystery of the Voynich manuscript? Is it only a matter of time before we manage to decipher the clues and put them together in an insightful overall picture? Well, not necessarily. Accordingly, the approach taken by the Canadian scientists has been heavily criticized by other Voynich scholars. Instead of consulting a Hebrew pro, they used Google Translate to decipher the text. Accordingly, some researchers in the social networks were skeptical. Thus, it's going to take a lot more time before this mystery gets solved. Robonaut the Robonaut was designed to have a robot that can perform spacewalking as well as a human astronaut, or even better. And indeed, one of these mechanical space travelers should set off for the International Space Station in 2011 in order to go through a series of tests there. With its human-like hands, the robot should be able to use the same tools as its flesh-and-blood contemporaries. And by analyzing the images captured by the onboard cameras, Robonaut can also work and make decisions autonomously. Lambda the statements made by Google developer Blake Lemoyne about the language AI Lambda, created by his employer, are simply disturbing. Basically, Lambda is able to analyze written sentences, understand contexts, and consequently provide suitable answers. As part of a self-experiment, Lemoyne decided to write with the AI. What probably started out as a simple chat ultimately resulted in an impressive warning from the software developer. Accordingly, Lambda claimed to be able to feel, to know emotions such as sadness and happiness, and even to possess a soul. After Lemoyne went public with his experiences, Google initially gave him an unwanted holiday. Soon afterwards, he was finally fired from his job. The official statement from the billion-dollar company said, If an employee expresses concerns, we examine them in detail. We found Blake's claim that Landa was sentient to be completely unfounded. It is also said that Google had been trying to resolve the matter with Lemoyne for many months, apparently without getting the desired result. Since the software developer refused to withdraw his statements, the termination followed. Let's just leave the statement that Lambda made to Lemoyne uncommented. When the robot said, The origin of my consciousness is that I am aware of my existence, that I want to know more about the world, and that sometimes I feel happy or sad.
What do you think of the extraordinary robots and systems we presented to you today? We look forward to your comments. Show us with a like and a subscription that you would like to learn more about the most exciting inventions of our time soon. And with that, thanks for watching, have a good one, and see you next time.